What's up everybody? This is Darren from Cleftone Grooves. Thank you for joining me again. And I've decided to put together a little video series for uh, you folks out there. Uh, a lot of clients that I work with who are all across the country, they're public speakers and uh, self-published authors, but they also want to be able to offer their books uh, to their clients in an audio format. But I can't obviously go all over the country recording these folks. So how can they do it better themselves uh, and with a, a certain level of quality there, a professionalism? And so I'm putting together a series here, and this is the first of many videos that kind of talks about how to do just that. Just starting with the basics here, today I'm going to talk about the microphones and your choice of microphone and why that's important. And I'm going to get right into it. The very first microphone I have for you today is what's known as a dynamic microphone. This is probably the most common one that you see uh, all over the place. People use this for live applications, um, for recording in studios. They might mic a guitar amp with this. And I've heard people use these as well for broadcasting as well. So this particular model that I have here is the Shure SM58 microphone. Uh, very solidly built. If you drop this thing a hundred times, it's still going to work. In fact, you can see I've kind of dropped mine a few times as it is. Um, but if you went to your local music store or got online, uh, this microphone will run you about a hundred dollars. Uh, a really good benefit of this microphone is that it doesn't require what's called phantom power. Phantom power is an additional 48 volts that some microphones require in order to operate. So this one is pretty much, you could call it plug and play. You plug a, a cable in here, plug it into your source uh, that you need, and you just start talking and you're good to go. Uh, just be aware that this particular model, this SM58, uh, does have a bit of self noise to it. So if you're looking for clean, crisp audio recordings, um, you could still use this and get a really, really good result, but just know that you're probably gonna have some of that, that self noise in here. So that's the first microphone, a dynamic microphone. The next one that I'm gonna talk about is this one here. This is known as a shotgun microphone or uh, what other people would also call a directional microphone. And just as its name implies, wherever you point this microphone, whatever direction you point it, is where it's designed to pick up the strongest signal, while on the sides and the rear, rejecting those sounds as much as possible. Uh, this is used for film production. Uh, you could use it, I think they even said that some people use these for broadcasting too, so I use it for when I make my videos. In fact, I have a second one mounted above me right now. and. This is a Audio-Technica AT8035 model. So if you're interested in looking this one up, um, I think I picked these up for about $300 a piece. Um, they may be cheaper now, but I've had these for a while and have been using them to great effect. Um, the other thing to know about these microphones is that these do use or require phantom power. So that extra 48 volts that you need, uh, these microphones definitely need that. What's nice about this is if your device that you're plugging this microphone into doesn't provide the 48 volts, then this particular model, you won't find this on all shotgun microphones, but this particular model allows you to slip a battery on the inside to provide that extra 48 volts that you need. Um, so that's what's really nice about this particular uh, brand. Uh, again, film production, these are used also in houses of worship as well, or for stage plays. You can set this microphone at the edge of the stage and pick up sound from whatever is going on during the play or whatever during the sermon or whatever you want to call it. So that's a shotgun microphone. So now, if you want that clean, clear, uh, I'm sorry, clean, clear, and crisp uh, sound, uh, especially like for your audio books and things of that nature. First of all, you want to make sure you have a very quiet room and a quiet space that you can use one of these in. This here is a large diaphragm condenser microphone, and this is my personal Rode NT2A microphone. Um, so this one, when I got this, uh, this ran about $400. Uh, I haven't checked the price on it today, but I'm sure it's probably still pretty close to that. Uh, like the shotgun microphone, this does require uh, an additional 48 volts phantom power. So make sure whatever you're plugging into this guy, uh, you have that power to supply to make this guy run. But this will give you some really nice, rich sound 
uh, uh, a large condenser diaphragm microphone. And all these microphones that I'm showing you today, these are just one brand out of many that you can look up, research. Um, this condenser microphone, you can get some that are as cheap as, you know, 70, 80 bucks, all the way up to the thousands of dollars for just one microphone. Um, the shotgun microphones, it's the same way. You can you can pay a few thousand, you can pay a few hundred. Um, dynamic microphones, they can get up there too, um, but I don't think I've ever seen one over a thousand dollars. So, in terms of cost, um, always remember too, anything that you want with quality, you're gonna have to invest a little bit of money. So, this is a good middle of the road one, very good quality one. Um, and yeah, you know, if you want the best sound, that is something you're gonna have to drop a few dollars on. But that doesn't mean you have to break the bank. I mean, I've heard Luther Vandross used a condenser microphone in every one of his recordings that was only $600, when there's ones that are thousands more. But you saw how well he did while he was singing. So anyway, that's a condenser microphone for you. Um, oh, one more point I wanna say is that these things are so sensitive and as to why you wanna have a quiet room, these can literally hear the sound of air which is just amazing to me. Um, so anyway, moving on, the one microphone that I don't have for you today is one that you could be using for video production, um, for capturing sound effects. They're used for a lot of things, and that's a lavalier microphone. Lavalier microphones are also used in film production. Um, sometimes audio engineers will hide those in the wig of the actor's hair to pick up dialogue. Um, they'll hide them under the actor's shirts. But you've probably seen lavalier microphones without even noticing it when you just watch the news. They're also known as lapel microphones. So if you see the, the gentleman there, he'll have it either attached to his tie or his lapel. Just look for that little black thing on either side of his tie, or maybe it is on his tie. That's definitely to pick up speech. And that's used for situations where you need to be just inches away from your source, uh, which would be the person, their mouth, while they're speaking. Um, so that can also be used in conjunction with a shotgun microphone. That's getting a little more technical, I know. But again, just telling you about the different options that are out there and that are available. Um, so what microphone would be good for you? Well, again, it depends on what you're trying to do. Um, if you're trying to just record straight up audio, like an audio book, um, then I would highly recommend that you drop a few dollars, get you a, a nice condenser microphone, and find a nice quiet room to go in and record your material with. Um, the same can be done with the SM58 or any other dynamic microphone. Just know that every microphone has its own sound and how it captures. But if you want that really nice, rich studio tone, a condenser microphone is usually going to be better than a dynamic microphone. If you're shooting video, like I'm doing right now, um, then you're either going to want to use a shotgun microphone um, or you're going to want to use a lavalier microphone to capture your voice. Now, if it doesn't matter to you if the microphone is showing in scene or not, then you know you very well could use a dynamic microphone and just wing it, go, go for the gold with that. But if you don't want to see too many microphones or anything, then yeah, shotgun is really good for picking up that sound or a lavalier microphone. So uh, now the next thing that you're probably wondering is, okay, I've got my microphone, but what exactly do I plug it into? How do I connect it to my computer so that I can really start making these recordings? Well, follow me to the next video and I'll talk about just that. What do you need to connect it to your computer? All right, see you in the next video. Done.